Danny Flexen here for Seconds Out with Paige Murney, uh, 60 kilo rep for GB of course, about to go to the World Championship, she must be pretty excited. Yeah, I'm excited, my second world, so it's just good to um, showcase skills at world level. You're coming into this obviously off the European Championships, where I believe you lost a split decision to Pot Conan, who's well known on the world scene, obviously beat Katie Taylor at the Olympics famously and went on to win the gold at the Euros as well. Although you can't have been happy to lose, did that give you a certain amount of confidence that you went to a split decision with someone of her level? Yeah, um, I knew I could. I knew I had to beat another. Obviously, it was a really close fight. Lost on a three-two split, but yeah, it gives me confidence to know that I can go in there. As long as I keep improving, that I can go in there and beat her. Who are your other kind of main rivals looking ahead to the world and, and even to the Olympics next year? Who are the main rivals at sixty? I think there is a lot at sixty. To be honest, I don't think there's one standout girl like there was in previous Olympic years obviously you had Kate Taylor and others but I don't think there is a standout boxer at the moment so I think it's just taking one fight as it comes and beating whoever's in front of you. You won the Commonwealth Silver of course last year in Australia and now you've come this year although it didn't, you didn't medal at the Euros you pushed Pot Conan very f close as we've said. Do you feel you're coming into your top form just about the right time? Yeah I think so I feel like I've improved a lot um, over the last two years obviously I've only been on GB for the last two years but I feel like I'm improving all the time so hopefully I'll peak at the right time next year. You started off in Leicester right with um, Hudge, yeah. um, Ajmel Butt as, as some people know him. Just tell us how you first got into boxing and how you ended up with, with Hudge. Um, so I just started for fitness, um, went to like a youth club type thing. Um, they took me in probably when I wasn't ready but I had a couple of bats there and then I went went over to Hudge and he asked me what do you want to do and I said oh I really want to box for England. Never in a million years think it thinking that would ever happen and then gradually working with him and good fighters in my gym back home just um, made me improve so much and obviously I boxed for England then I got boxed for GB and then I got onto GB so the next the next goal was the Olympics. Leicester's obviously been a bit of a boxing hotbed on and off over the years you know I'm thinking of guys like Rendell Munro, um, Chris Pyatt of course, who I believe you went to the Commonwealth, you were the first person from Leicester to represent GB at Commonwealth after Chris Pyatt. How much do you feel you're representing Leicester as well as GB? Oh, 100%. Obviously, Chris, I know, him, I know him, he does a bit of work in our gym now as well. So to represent after him is an honour. Um, but yeah, I'm showcasing all my skills and to represent Leicester as well as GB is a big achievement. And do you have kind of one eye not just on Tokyo Olympics, which I'm sure you have, but on the professional game down the road? Is that kind of a long term goal? Yeah, I think um, the Olympics is, is for me at the minute, but women's professional boxing is definitely on the rise. And with the likes of Kate Taylor and Nicola Adams, Cl Clarissa Shields, they're all doing really well in professional boxing, so you never know one day. Is there anyone you sort of look at for inspiration, just either inside the ring or outside? Um, I definitely say my coach because he's just been had so many obstacles in life and got through them. So he's definitely someone I look up to. But there's so many boxers who you can take little bits from to add to your style. And what about your family? Are they quite supportive of the boxing? Do they come and watch a lot of your fights? Yeah. So my mum hasn't missed any of my fights only when I box abroad. But she went, she came out and supported me at the Commonwealth Games, which was amazing just to have someone in my family there. And obviously my coaches back in Leicester and CJ come and support me at the Commonwealth Games as well. Brilliant. And for people that want to know a bit more about you, or want to follow the journey out in Russia, for example, how can they find you on social media? Yeah, they can follow me on Instagram at Paige Murney. Brilliant. All right, well, we really appreciate your time and we'll be watching you out in Russia. Thank you. Cheers.